here's a complex circuit. I don't have any power sources on this one, just all everything connected together. Find the capacitors that are in series, parallel, or neither. I'll pause the video while the countdown continues. Okay, so hopefully you paused the video and got your answers. Now let me uh, show you the answers. Here they are. In series, MLK and PB. That is ML and K, and I'll draw it out, and P and B, and I'll draw that out. You might be thinking, C and D look like they're in series, so I'll write those down. But the problem is, you can't have a junction in between them. So when I trace my path and I look at it, uh-oh, there's a junction right there. So that's not in series. Or maybe you're thinking something a little bit bigger, like H, Q, K, L, and M. They're one after another, but I got the same problem. So if I trace my path, I can see that I generate two junctions right here. And those two junctions stop the series combination. So that's why MLK is off by itself, because it's existing between two other junctions. So those are the two combinations in this case that are in series. How about parallel? Got a lot in parallel. Start with, I'll do A and D and WQT, S and F, and R and G. They're all in parallel, so I can take my little finger rule and trace the tops and bottoms of both capacitors that are in parallel. But maybe you're thinking something like B and N should be in parallel. They look like they're in parallel. However, if you trace a path, so if I start with B and I trace my path, then I've got a bit of a problem. Well, that part works out great, but as I go through the other side, there's the problem. I've got to cross another capacitor to get to the other side of N, and according to our rule, you can't do that. So, <clears throat> in series, there is a um, there are no junctions. In parallel, there are junctions, just as a kind of a contrast between the two. Here's another circuit, a little bit different. This time, I do have power sources, and which capacitors are in series, parallel, or neither? Go ahead and pause the video, and when I unpause it to, answer, to uh, see the answers. All right, time to show the answers. So if we've unpaused it, here's our original circuit, and here are the answers. A lot of them for series, so let's go through it. Series, H, E, D, and C are in series. S and R are in series. P, L, and K are in series. T and AA are in series. G and F are in series. N and EE are in series. They look almost like one of those parallel ones, but if you follow the wire, you can see that they are one after another without a junction in between them. That puts them in series. And then finally, V and X, they're in series. So all these combinations are in series. Now let's look at the parallel. So in parallel, There we go. Double D, double C, double B, and Z. So let's try our little rule. Without the finger, but just drawing the lines here. There's the double C over and going down to the double B and Z. Great, that's half the rule. The other half the rule, going over and up, and then connecting the other sides of the capacitors. So remember, they're in parallel when I connect both sides of the capacitors and on the same wire without crossing another component. That makes them in parallel. My other combination is kind of odd. Y, B, and A. Okay, let's look at how come that's in parallel. So I'll trace the tops of Y, B, and A. There it is, the top, going down and going over. That's great. Didn't cross another capacitor to get there. And the bottom of Y, B, and A, well, they all go to ground. So ground is basically the circuit that connects the bottom of them without going through any other components. Kind of tricky, but it follows our rule, our basic definition of parallel, is they all drop the same voltage by connecting to the same uh, wires without crossing another component. Great.